Uh, if you haven't been to Shell Hill, it's worth checking out. Uh, we were talking to some people yesterday, and uh, Cy, the cameraman right now, said it was the hardest course in the Northeast, and someone corrected him and was like, it's the hardest course in America. And I kind of agree with that. It's keep, rough. Yeah, it, it's brutal. And uh, you keep going in and out of the shade, so right now we're like getting beamed down by the sun. And it's like 90 degrees. So that's taking a toll off too. But uh, we're just kind of putting one foot in front of the other. Uh, the obstacle density and the uh, terrain makes for not a lot of running. So today there's, you know, we do short jogs between obstacles, but with 70 obstacles and 6.2 miles, you end up not doing that much running. Which is fine, because yesterday was... Uh, yeah, <laughs> we're okay with that. Um, you can see I'm, if you, if you Facebook stalk me, which you should, uh, you can see I'm dressed a little different than I normally dress. I usually wear sleeves, you know, compression pants, socks, um, no shirt. But I have long pants on today, high socks, and a shirt, and no arm sleeves. Um, a lot of this course has a lot of ropes, rope climbs, and if you don't, has some protection on your shins or ankles. Yeah, long pants would have been good. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna tear you off. So that's the first big change I made. I put on pants. Uh, I took off the arm sleeves because there's not a lot of crawling or anything like that, so I don't really need arm protection. Um, put on the shirt to get a lot of hay bales to go over. And I remember when I did Shell Hill, it like scratched up my stomach real bad. And with a week-long event, I don't need to be covered in scratches head to toe. And then the gloves, these are uh, Mad Grip gloves, they're like 5 or $10. Um, protect my hands because, uh, that, <laughs> because of that, the, uh, it'll rip off your calluses. And uh, so, some good advice if you ever decide to do uh, Shell Hill or even for their one lap course, I think gloves are a good idea. But their multi laps, their eight hour and 24 hour, it's definite. They do a lot of cool stuff here, including a tri obstacle alarm. So it's like a triathlon mixed with OCR. I think it's like swimming, mountain biking, and OCRing. Are we uh, July, mid July, July 16th. So we're inside the uh, Synergy Training Center here at Shell Hill. Uh, taking a, we finished three laps. About to start our fourth one once we eat some food. I'll show you what. I guess I can't spin it around mid-time. <laughs> Apparently. So there's uh, Jordan and Cy refueling. And then I'll give you a quick tour. of This is what the inside of their facility looks like. It's got monkey bars, uh, vertical pipes, horizontal pipes. All sorts of good stuff. Uh, you can see that. Uh, you see that set of monkey bars in the distance. Um, that's one of those rotating ones. So as you grab each one, it rotates back and forth. So that's pretty cool. That's uh, one of their new products that they're going to be selling online at SynergySports.com. And then uh, over there, the uh, the two handles attached to the rotation thing is kind of like a portable or a uh, small version of an endless monkey bar so you can you can pull up and uh, do pull ups on it and dips and all sorts of good stuff. That's kind of it for now. We'll uh finish up my quinoa and some Panera bread and uh head back out on the course. Welcome back. Uh day two of your OCR America and uh how was it today? 
Um, so if I had to use one word to describe today, uh, I would say brutal. Uh, really? Yeah, uh, Rob and uh, Rob and Jill Butler, the uh, two owners of Shell Hill. I mean, their their course is just it, it's incredibly tough. Um, and I remember, so I did 24 hours of Shell Hell, the ultra version of their course, uh, last year. I finished second, and I remember it being really bad. Uh, and it was just as bad, if not worse, than I, as I remember. So um, each lap's about uh, 6.2 miles, 70 obstacles, and there are hard obstacles too. They're not just like, oh, climb over this little thing. So uh, I did pretty good. So uh, four laps total, um, 25 miles. And what was deceiving is there's a lot of little ups and downs. Um, so you don't really feel like you're climbing that much, but my GPS watch said my total ascent was 6,500 feet. Yeah, which, so, yeah. so that's, uh, that's 16,000 yesterday and 6,000 today, right? That was uh, 6,700 6, yesterday. Oh, okay, my, my bad. I uh, misunderstood. I, it was pretty early when I was recording the last one, but... Uh, Man, so you're over like almost thirteen thousand feet climbed in twenty four hours. Uh, yeah, a little bit over that, but yeah. So I'll post a picture of my GPS data uh, later today. Man, that is, that's crazy. And so, were you the only one out on the course today? I mean, you and the, and the people running with you. Uh, so it was me. Yeah, it was me, uh, Jordan Smith, uh, and uh, my uh, Sty, one of my pit crew guys. So he Sty did uh basically he did a lap with with the obstacles and then did a lap kind of walking and occasionally would do an obstacle and then Jordan did um three laps so he did the first third and fourth and he did most he did most of the obstacles on one and three and then again he was he wasn't doing everyone on uh, lap four but he did a bunch of them um, right and then so, it's day three for him right because he did tough mutter Saturday and Sunday. Correct. Correct. So he's at three days of twenty plus. So he's uh, I mean, it, it, yeah, he's trucking along. Man, that's tough. Is he is he running with you tomorrow as well? Uh, tomorrow will be his last day. So a total of four. And um, like I said, I'm hoping tomorrow's a little easier. Uh, so. Yeah. Wow. I, that's that's tough. I, so I did pretty good on uh, the first two laps. I think I failed two obstacles. Uh, uphill monkey bars and this Tarzan swing thing, which is basically like 20 vertical ropes in a row that you're supposed to traverse. Um, and then lap three, maybe six failures, and then lap four, maybe seven or something like that. I'm not, I, I wasn't really counting the numbers, but uh, I was basically operating off house rules. Uh, so for um, so like for 24 hours of Shell Hill, I basically followed their rule the rules for that. So there's like 30 Spider-Man push-ups for failure for laps one and two, uh, 15 Spider-Man push-ups for lap three for failure. And then, uh, seven or eight, eight Spider-Man push-ups for lap four. So, awesome. I mean, I was, yeah, so I, I was doing penalties. <laughs> um, and then, uh, you know, if I could physically do the obstacle, I would do it. Uh, so they'll be, there's been a whole bunch of videos on my Facebook page and I got like another half dozen that I need to upload. Uh, just the reception out there was so bad, uh, we couldn't do Facebook Live, so uh, we're stuck with the videos. And yeah. Them. No, no, the videos were great though. I saw those today. I was watching them, uh, and it looked looked like a good time, man. It looked like you were you were having a good time, and I mean the struggle is definitely uh, an issue, I guess, but uh, it looked like you were having fun either way. Yeah. yeah and the sun was just blazing. Oh. Yeah, rough. So the the course goes in and out of like open fields and then into the woods so like every time we we're in the woods it felt so much better and you get back out into the sun and it's just beating you down yeah man i can't can't even imagine especially i mean it's only day two you still got five to go how you feeling uh i feel pretty beat up i feel like i got hit by a truck today so um we'll uh just take it one day at a time and uh that's the thing with the really long distances you, you like i don't you, you can't think about the whole thing at once because you'll you'll break so you just kind of like you know, if you can still put one foot in front of the other, you do that, and then uh, you just repeat that process over and over, and uh, hopefully, at the end of the seven days, I'm I'm still standing. <laughs> yeah, I think I think you'll be great. I mean, I think uh, 
you've been training hard and then you know you're especially once you get into the weekend next weekend it'll be good because you'll have you know people running with you and and like you said at the conquer the gauntlet so it'll it'll be good yeah absolutely cool Gosh. so with all that i mean is there any anything else you want to share about uh, about your day or your journey so far uh no vermont's food service is extremely slow we waited like 30 minutes for food in a restaurant, we were the only people in there. It must have been longer than that. I don't know. We're in there a while. Yeah. Um, and then other than that, uh, I put up some videos of um, of uh, Rob's training facility. Uh, he's got that Synergy Sports training facility uh, indoors, so I'll be putting some pictures up. And uh, he sells some great products. So if you're ever looking to like improve your home OCR gym, you know, like you can buy uh, um, nunchucks or grips or um, while I was there, I picked up this uh, uh, rotating, it's like endless monkey bar type thing. Uh, it's kind of hard to explain, but it's like center point pivot, and there's like two um, kind of handles sticking out of the far ends of a pole. Um, I know I've seen Ryan Atkins train with it uh, in his home gym, so I got one for myself, and uh, I'll be putting pictures of that up once I once I recover from this. But uh, yeah, can't say enough good, uh, good things about them. Excellent. And, uh, enough uh i can't emphasize how hard that course is uh so if you're in the area i would definitely definitely check it out awesome man so where uh, where are you off to now you're uh, heading to uh, greenville new york so we're about a uh, hour 25 minutes away and that's going to be viking ocr um at sunny hill awesome man well with that i mean i think i think you're pretty good and then you definitely need to go get some rest and recover and and set yourself up for uh, a big day tomorrow yeah, absolutely. Uh, and thanks, Jay, for all the support. I, I appreciate it. Uh, I appreciate all the shout outs you've given me on your episodes for the last uh, two months or three months, however long it's been. Uh, but well, abs- absolutely, man. You know, I, like I said from the beginning, you know, I, it's it's something great to support. And, uh, you know, I just want to do what I can to help and and just build relationships in the OCR community. I think all that is what this is all about. So right on. Cool. Well, with that said, I think we'll go ahead and then, and I'll let you, I'll let you recover a little bit. And, um, yeah, I look forward to hearing about tomorrow. All right. Sounds good, Jay.